we are going to discuss imbibition by raisins as you all know that the imbibition is a process of absorption of water by solid particles now we'll demonstrate this process of imbibition in case of raisins we'll perform an activity and we'll find out how the raisins are going to show this process of imbibition and we'll also calculate the amount of water absorbed and the percentage of water absorbed in case of raisins okay so let us start with this as you all know that water is an important constituent for plants plants need water for various processes and this absorption of water takes place by diffusion or you can say osmosis and many other processes can also be there so but the imbibition process is necessary for seed germination it is the absorption of water by the solid substances so without forming a solution they are going to absorb water so in case of imbibition this is highly necessary for seed germination the seed germination by absorption of water is a highly important process in case of plant growth so what is going to happen we are going to talk about imbibition in case of raisins you all know that there need to be a hydrophilic colloid that is starch or cellulose for example which are going to absorb water we'll perform this activity in case of raisins we'll actually find out the amount of water absorbed by raisins the percentage of water absorbed by raisins by this activity so what do we need for this activity let us discuss what are going to be the materials required for performing this activity the materials required would be first of all you also need to have the important uh, ingredient that is your raisins with intact stalks you need a beaker then you need distilled water you need a spatula then you need a weighing balance blotting paper and a petri plate so what is the procedure you're going to take the raisins with intact stalks and you're going to weigh them on a weighing balance let us see what is the weight of raisins when they are dried when we have not put it into water it comes out to be 12.370 grams as you can see now we are going to put in some distilled water in the beaker and after this we are going to put this dry raisins into this beaker containing water now the raisins are going to show this process in by which they are going to absorb water because they are hydrophilic they contain that substances which are going to absorb water then after some time just just have those raisins on a petri plate containing blotting paper you can remove excess of water by using blotting paper on it when you have removed the excess water you're going to weigh these raisins now on a weighing balance when you weigh these raisins on the weighing balance let us see what is the weight after this which comes out to be as it is 19.160 grams so by this we have got the weight of dry raisins and we have got the weight of raisins after absorption okay so this is the amount we have got now we'll find out find out the amount of water absorbed by raisins how you will find out the amount of water absorbed by raisins it will be equal to the weight of raisins after absorption that is 19.160 minus the weight of dry raisins that is equivalent to 12.370 so it comes out to be 6.79 grams so this this amount of water is absorbed by the raisins remember how we have calculated we have we have weight of raisins after absorption minus weight of dry raisins by this method you can find out the amount of water absorbed now when you need to find out the percentage of water absorbed means water absorbed in terms of percentage we'll find out in a way 6.79 that is the amount of water absorbed upon the weight of dry raisins that is 12.370 since we are finding out the percentage in 200 this comes out to be 54.89% so in this activity the amount of water absorbed is 6.79 grams and the percent of water absorbed is 54.89% so by this activity you have find out the actual amount of water absorbed by raisins when the raisins have shown imbibition that is absorption of water without forming any solution so the amount of water absorbed comes out to be this and the percentage of water absorbed is 54.89% so whenever you are going to perform such an activity the and to calculate the amount of water absorbed you will use such a formula and you can also find out the percentage of water absorbed by this manner only